Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss Maths Olympiad test paper for class 3. Kids, this is set 8. Question number 1. How many possible combinations of one chocolate and one ice cream can be formed from the given chocolates and ice creams? Let's check. How many chocolates are there? There are total three chocolates and three ice creams. The possible combinations are three multiplied by three equals nine. So we can make nine combinations from these groups. Answer is option A. Question number two, find the odd one out. Look at the options carefully. And the answer is option D. Question number three, which of the following options will complete the pattern of figure X? Kids, this figure X is given and we have to find out what will come at the question mark place. Look at the options and try to find out the answer to complete this pattern. The answer is option A. Question number four. Find the number of fruits to the right of the fruit called as king of fruits. Which fruit is called king of fruit? Mango. Mango is called king of fruit. And we have to find out right of the fruit. Right of the mango. So this is left side. This one is right side. So how many fruits are there right to the mango? Only one because brinjal and potatoes are vegetables. So our answer is option C, one. Question number five. If a star is called sun, sun is called moon, moon is called earth, and earth is called comet, then man lives in dash. Man lives in earth. So that means an earth is called comet, so man lives in Comet. So our answer is option D, Comet. Question number 6. Which of the following is the correct mirror image of figure X? If the mirror is placed along MN. Kids, this is figure X and this is mirror. Option A is incorrect as this is water image, not the mirror image. Option B is our answer. Option C is incorrect as this pin is not the mirror image of this pin. Option D is incorrect as E is placed as it is not the mirror image. So our answer is option B. All the letters are mirror image of these letters. Correct answer is option B. Question number 7. Some letters which are numbered are given. Find the combination of numbers so that letters are arranged accordingly to form a meaningful word. These letters are given and we have to find out the number combination. From these letters we can make a meaningful word black. B L A C K. The letter, the numbers for the word black is B is 3 and only option D is starting from the 3. So our answer is option D. Question number 8. How many groups of 6 boys can be formed from the given children below? We can make 1 and two, two groups of six boys each. Answer is option A. Question number nine. In which of the following figures, figure X is exactly embedded as one of its part? Look at the options carefully and find, try to find out the answer. And the answer is option B. This figure X is embedded in this figure here.
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन देर आर डैश सर्कल्स डैश स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड डैश स्क्वायर इन द गिवेन पिक्चर किड्स लुक एट द ऑप्शन एंड वी कैन सी दैट द नंबर ऑफ सर्कल्स आर गिवेन सेम इन ऑल ऑप्शन सेम एज इन नंबर ऑफ स्क्वायर सर्कल्स ऑल्सो गिवेन सेम तो वी विल काउंट नंबर ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन ओनली इन दिस फिगर देर आर सिक्स स्ट्रेट लाइन in the sun there are 13 straight lines 12 outside the sun and one is in its mouth in the boat there are 22 straight lines and this this figure six straight lines we when we add all of these we get 47 so our answer is option b two circles 47 straight lines and four squares Question number eleven: Which of the following sets of numbers are arranged in descending order? Kids, look at the options and try to find out the answer. Descending order means arranging the number in biggest to smallest number. The first number is the greatest, and the last number is the smallest. And the answer is option D. Question number twelve: Twenty-seven hundreds divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred is twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Twenty-seven hundred divided by three ones equals dash tens. Nine hundred is ninety tens. Our answer is option C, ninety. Question number thirteen: Which of the given abacus shows the number greater than two thousand? Let's look at the options. You can see in option A, at thousand place there is one ball, so this is incorrect. In option B, at thousand place it there are five balls, which is greater than two. so this uh, this option is our answer in option c there is also single ball so this is less than 2000 so this is also incorrect option d also has 1000 1000 please one ball so this is not our answer answer is option b question number 15 rahul has rupees 120 He wants to buy a robot that costs rupees 180. How much more money does he need it to buy robot? First, Rahul has rupees 120, and the cost of the robot is 180. So he need 180 minus 120. That means zero minus zero is zero, eight minus two is six, and one minus one is zero. So he need 60 rupees more. Answer is option C. Thanks for watching. If you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.